Well, hello everybody. James Monty here again. Today, bringing you a another Battlefield 3 video. And just take a look at the video real quick. Yeah, take a look. Take a look. Maybe a little crisper, a little clearer than normal. Because, well, if you see my other video I posted earlier about a HD test. Yes, I finally was able to get me an HD recorder. Uh, what I picked up was the Roxio HD Pro. It's a new device by Roxio. Now, before I was just using their Roxio Game Cap, which, uh, while a good device, it was limited a little bit by uh, being able to run, you know, just capture on uh, component cables only, hook up. Which means I had to play on a different uh, TV that I eh, never really cared for and I didn't really feel like I, you know, played as well on that other TV. Eh, just, it's, you know, just personal choice. So I, I got to the point where I just rarely recorded and if I did it was, uh, you know, a couple sessions at a time and I didn't think I ever really got any, you know, my best game plays off of it. Anyway. Uh, Roxio HD Pro. It's a could run component or HDMI, which running the HDMI allows me to play on my computer monitor. Which I've got a 23-inch 1080p computer monitor that uh, I, you know, for some reason I just I play better on it. And uh, yeah, so it's going to allow me to actually record more, record easier because it's. I can pretty much just hit one button and uh, record it out. So, Roxio HD Pro, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to the company's website. And so far, like I said, I've, I've owned both their devices now. Uh, even though the HD one I've only owned for probably less than a day now, um, I, I feel that they make a, a solid product. Um, support has been good. The, you know, the product itself has worked as expected. And, I mean, it's easy to use the software that comes with it, which is, which is what I'm editing on. Works great, uh, even though I have noticed a little bit that uh, <laughs> my computer is struggling a little bit with these larger file sizes. Because uh, some of these matches are getting up to about a gig in size when you record in HD, where they're about half of that with the other recorder that... Uh, Maxed out at about 480, but this one's recording in a 720, I believe. Yeah, so that's one thing I, I, I have noticed, you know, kind of one thing is the computer is a little, a little, a little lacking. <laughs> but we'll, we'll struggle through for the next little bit until, you know, I'm able to, you know, upgrade that a little bit more. Uh, the gameplay here, I uh, actually got on... Skype earlier was talking to my buddy Bulldog and you know just kind of telling me about the new recorder because I'd hopped on recorded a little bit of uh, Black Ops 2 um, combat training to kind of give a test just to see how it looked. He said, hey, you know, if you want to play some Battlefield, he'd be down because he hasn't really been feeling it much here lately, which I agree with him. I haven't, but it's <laughs> I haven't been much in the Battlefield mood myself. So we decided to hop on and of course, I didn't record my first match because I thought, ah, yeah, I haven't played in about three weeks. It's going to be terrible. I ended up going like 68 and 20 on the TDM. <sighs> yeah, that would have been a great match because I had some <laughs> just amazing games. Uh, but that's how it is. This match here ended up going like 48 and 20 something. Bulldog rocks it out with a 68 and 20 something. Uh, but yeah, for the first time in a long time, I had a great time playing Battlefield. Uh, you know, partially because playing with my playing with some good friends. Uh, got the new recorder, so I've been kind of uh, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I ain't gonna lie, I've been really excited about getting this. It's something I've been wanting to get. Since they announced it a few months back, I just could never really, you know, fit it into the budget, so to speak. Uh, but over the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, 
Actually, normally this thing runs about $150 retail. You can you can get it through their site for $129 with some, you know, without doing anything special. Uh, but on Amazon, and I believe on their own website too, but I got it from Amazon. They had it on sale for $89. So for $89, I was able to pick up an HD, you know, HDMI in out recorder you know normally something like that you'd be looking at like an elgato or something like that that's going to be you know 200 plus bucks 89 dollars for an hd recorder i know it's pretty 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 freaking sweet so super excited about it you know excited about uh recording again i'll be able to record more often easier so hopefully that'll mean you know more videos in the future at least I hope so. Because uh, I, I, you know, I do enjoy, you know, recording YouTube. I, you know, do get a little, you know, disappointed at times that uh, I don't seem to get as, you know, many views as I'd like. That's it. Yeah, I, I think I attribute a lot of that to maybe because my, you know, video recording wasn't always at the highest quality. Possibly, people could have kept him from watching it so we'll keep this up for a bit watch this guy like a knife superstar buddy there you go get another nemesis on ya <laughs> anyway what was I saying oh anyway uh, <laughs> yeah yeah enjoying recording probably be put hopefully you know putting out some more stuff here in the future some more Black Ops. Join that game. I mean, it's. I mean, I'll say what you will about Call of Duty. You know, I know I have myself, but uh, Black Ops 2 is pretty, pretty solid. Liking it a lot. It's. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I really. Yeah, other than a few just normal complaints, like the, you know, the latency you get sometimes with the connection. Uh, sometimes the lobbies can be. You know, you're supposed to have the matchmaking thing set up for it but yeah anyway as always folks thanks for watching i appreciate if you leave a comment on uh, what you think about the video quality and uh, tell me if you want to see some more and uh, as i'm watching this back through the preview i noticed that i had some clips end up in there twice somehow I don't know. Thing was doing some funky things. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching.